It's no fair, Wibbly. Kids are always in trouble. I sure wish I could see my parents get in trouble for once. <laughs> Dish dryer. <laughs> and you are? It's me, it's Bobby. Don't you recognize me? Oh, sure he does. It's just that little Howard has so many friends, it's hard to keep track of them all. Little Howard, get down here and take out the garbage. Oh, there you are, son. Dad, you're, you're a kid. My wish came true. I'm back in the olden days when my dad was a little boy. This is great. How come you're wearing brand new school clothes on a Saturday? I'm just trying them on to make sure they fit. Hey, what time is it? I know. It's time for nookies. Oh, what's that? A nookie. Oh, I'll have to remember that. <laughs> hey, I like your new friend. He seems like a lot of fun. Oh, is it 10 o'clock yet? Oh, that's when the library opens on Saturday. I came over to see if you wanted to go with me. My friend Teddy here reads all the time because when he grows up, he's going to be a doctor. Why don't you get that, Bobby? Nice kid, Howard. Yeah, I guess. Huh? Wow. What are you doing here? We live across the street. You lived across the street from Dad? I mean, Howard? I didn't know that. It's so great to see a new face. You're cute. So, so, so are you. For, for that. Oh. <laughs> what was that for? That was for all the times you're going to do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see my pet frog, Roger? I've got a collection, don't you know? Roger. 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 Wow. My mom had a frog collection. It's part of my extra credit report. I want good grades so when I grow up, I can have my own career. I bet you're going to be a housewife with three kids and some twins. But what do I know? What a weird kid. <laughs> you guys want to play water tag with the hose? Yeah. Oh, but don't you have chores to do? Like, take out the garbage? Too bad. Boy. If you could find a way to get out of those... Wait! I've got an idea. Come on! Remember, no going outside until your chores are finished, Howard. I know. I'm just taking out the garbage, Mom. I think that is so neat. Your little friend, what's his name, helping you with the chores. Hey, who wants to play water tag? <gasps> but what about the trash? And all your other chores. What are you, my dad? Boy, have you got that turned around. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, summer vacation's almost over. Parents don't understand that kids like having fun. I never knew my dad was so smart. Okie dokie, count me in, Ski. Oh, me too, I love water tag. Sure, what could possibly happen? Your new pants 
pants got torn on the thorn bush. So? I hate pants anyway. But, but how are you ever going to grow up and be in the pants business if you hate pants? Whoever said I'd grow up and be in the pants business? I'm going to be a professional golfer. <laughs> Why don't you wear this one? Wow, I love this shirt. A lot of glasses don't go with this shirt. You mean you're not going to be serious anymore? Hey, since I've met you, I'm thinking maybe my destiny is to be more of a party animal. Time for noogies, Bobby. You can call me Bobo. <laughs> Thanks, Bobo. Hey, look at this old piece of junk. Ooh, wonder how much I can get for it. Yes, Mrs. Knutzenberger Sven. Okay, if that's how you feel. My little Howard is a bad influence on your little Martha, and you never want him to see her again. Fine with me. I'm that mad, too. Am I in trouble? I'll say you're in trouble, Mr. Torn Pants. You're in big trouble. Yes. I mean, uh... Yes, it's, it's no fair. You're going to learn that your actions have consequences, young man. No seeing Martha anymore. And for ruining your new good school pants, no Elvis concert for you. You're grounded for life. Triple punishment? That's no fair. I only did one thing wrong. I know just how it feels. And it feels pretty good. Grounded for life? It's no fair. That's what Yappy sings in a song. Who cares? I want to see Elvis. You're mean. I hate you. Someday I hope that you have children and they treat you just the way you treat us. Well, I promise if I do ever have kids, I'm not going to give them a triple punishment. I guess he forgot about that one when he grew up. Boy, Dad's in trouble. Now he knows what it's like. Wait, grounded for life. If he never sees Martha again, they can't be my parents. Yikes! I can't help my dad. Or he won't be my dad. Excuse me. Bobby? It's a little late for you to be here. See, um, Howard feels so bad about what happened, he couldn't face you. So he told me to tell you that he feels real sorry and he's learned his lesson. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. And, uh, to show he takes responsibility for what he did, he says he'll pay for the pants he ruined. And how's he going to earn this money? Uh, he said, because it was pants he ruined, he'd go work for, uh, uh... The, the tailor? Yeah, that's it, the tailor guy. Well, I must say I'm impressed with Howard. I guess he has learned his lesson. Bobby, you tell Howard that because he apologized and he's willing to pay for the ruined trousers, I'm going to reduce his punishment. He's not grounded for life. And I guess he can still see Martha. Yes! He can go see Elvis! No, no, uh, I'm sorry. He still can't go to the Elvis concert. Uh, okay. Guess that's fair enough. I did it! Well, almost. Now I gotta go tell little Howard about the deal I made. That's the easy part. What? You told him what? Are you kidding? I'd rather never see Martha again than not see Elvis. Did I say easy? Okay. Okay, look. You got me out of a triple punishment. So what do you want me to do? Okay. Promise when you grow up and have kids, you'll never, ever give a triple punishment. When I grow up, have kids, sure, yeah, whatever, okay. 